All right, so what I wanted to show people was how to uh, accurately do a B sit and reach measurement uh, during a B sit and reach test. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark it off. Um, if you use a yardstick and you do not have a B sit and reach tester, you can use a yardstick. Um, what I did was just looking at the yardstick, we added, we started on 10. So when we marked it on the floor and put down the markings, um, the kid's feet would be behind 10. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark it off. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, just, use, just use a piece of tape And most people, most people use about eight to 12 inches. Most people mark it off about eight to 12 inches for uh, the width of the feet when people do the V sit and reach. So here at the beginning of my tape is starting at 10. And I'm gonna take this to the floor. All right, so this is what my B sit and reach look like. So what I tell my kids is when they come um, to get their to get their inches, they will sit on the floor, and the bottom of their feet, the bottom of their feet, will touch the tape. Now, when they do this, remember when they're doing the B sit and reach, they get four they get four reaches. So. This will be one, and then I'll reach again, two, three, and on the fourth one, they will hold for how far they got out. So I would measure 13. Now, this is the part where people are getting confused and they don't understand um, on this component of the fitness test how to measure the kid. Now. On a typical on a typical V sit and reach board, this zero point will be at 17. So every mark over 17, you will you will count. So if I reached out and I reached to 13, that means if I start here, so this will be 17, 18, 19, 20. And this is this is the part of the test that people are having difficulty with um, because on the V-Sit and Reach board, it is clearly defined. Here it is not. So if everyone that participates in this start at 17 and then mark it 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and then even if kids are not reaching the board or they're not reaching the, the 10 mark or the 17 or the zero, then you just subtract. So here would be 17 and this would be 16, 15, 14, 13, and so on. So that will give you an accurate measurement. And when you put it in the power schools, you'll have an uh, accurate measurement and it will do uh, the healthy the fitness zone for you. So that is something that um, I think is very beneficial to a bunch of PE teachers that don't have a B sit and reach board because it's very difficult to find them now. So, just remember, start at 17, count every inch, and that'll be uh, pretty accurate to uh, what you need to be recording in your, in your power school.